What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and I built the rig. I got the simulator rig all together, like the actual frame and seat and all that stuff. Like I said, I don't have a computer for it. So this is the system that I took some parts out of. Not a lot, actually. I think it's mostly just like the GPU and stuff. But we are gonna put this thing back together, get it working again, and we're gonna get it all loaded up and do some simulator driving and stuff with the coconut monkey, which is probably the only reason why he's here. I forgot my helmet. I got mine. Okay, cool. The new Z170 classified motherboard from EVGA features 8-phase PWM, 4-way SLI support, along with top-notch components to offer gamers and enthusiasts more of what they want. Badass motherboard with no compromises. Click the link below to learn more. So the specs of this rig here are nothing special, quite honestly. And I know people are gonna be like, what do you mean nothing special? But quite honestly, it's, it's not like custom water-cooled or anything like that. It's dusty as hell as you can see. Uh, I have got on here the Intermax uh, Liptec 240 water cooler on a 4770K plugged into a um, Z97 um, M MSI M Power, which is all super dusty. Now I just realized I have no memory in here. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, this is super dusty. So what we're going to do today is we're going to clean it off, um, show you how the front quick disconnect or the quick, uh, you know, bays I use right there, the hot swap bays for the drives. Makes it stupid easy to get everything going. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty much up and running in no time. What's really gonna take the longest here is getting the, uh, I also don't have any EPS power plugged in. Wow, I stole the EPS cable and everything out of this. This poor machine. Let's get it put back together. Super dusty. It's like fuzz on the fans. So gross. That's just nasty. Oh, that's just nasty. <laughs> oh. Now in here I originally had the dual 970s and that's probably what I'm gonna put back in here to be honest with you. Um, I can tech, I can actually remove that bottom fan. It's gonna be going on carpet. I don't think it'll suck anything in. There are spider webs in here. I should be completely ashamed of myself, shouldn't I? It's kind of like Gary's STI. <laughs> There's no mold though. <laughs> I kind of wanted to just build a whole new system for it and I think ultimately I'm gonna end up doing a uh, like a custom case mod. I think considering this is going on the racing simulator, um, that it would be cool to have like a case mod that either looks like an engine or something like that. I know it's not, I know it's been done before, but I think that'd be fun. Like put a valve cover up here or something, have like the radiator hanging out the front, you know, a little serpentine setup. Now I'm getting a little ahead of myself there. Yeah, I think it could be fun. The radiator um, on the front's pretty cool though. I do that. The what? Radiator in front? Yeah. Well, then it would be, have it end up being a custom Put the water cooled. I wanted to get a wheel and a tire and like build a system in the wheel, but then I went on the internet and I found people did that already too. There's nothing you can do first anymore. Nothing. We could slam it. <laughs> get some mad. We can do on stance it. life. On yeah. It's like done. <laughs> negative camber. <laughs> done. We should have achievements for everything that we do in this house first. <laughs> Ding. Now I don't plan on putting hardly anything on this, so I don't need that much hard drive space. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is a one terabyte Toshiba drive here, um, six gigabit per second, you know, SATA. So yeah, we'll be using that, and then we'll just use this 128 gigabyte um, A data SSD. I don't need any more storage than that because I don't plan on putting really hardly anything on this machine. To, to be quite honest with you, what was that sound? Uh, the Oh, yeah, that's me. So I knew that this system was going to end up kind of getting pillaged for, uh, is that the right word? Pillaged? Pillaged, like what pirates do? Or cannibalized. You can even turn it off right there. So this is actually an Intermax um, hot swap drive and it even has the fan controller in here too. That's where the Phobia fan controller head went. So that I could take the drives in and out easy. I knew this system was going to be cannibalized at some point and I wanted to make it easy to get the drives in and out. So that's why I used this guy here. Just slide her in. Slide her in, and then the hard drive, same thing. Just slide, ow, in, and that's it. Then they're installed, and when you want them out, bam, that's it. You can use them somewhere else. I did it twice! Achievement unlocked. I didn't actually mean to do that <laughs> twice. Like, when you push it, it like slams shut. The uh, SSD one doesn't really do that, see? Anyway, that'll work. Now here's my dilemma. I had the two 970s in here, which was fine. Um, I did get some micro stutter with iRacing for a little bit there, and then I ended up updating drivers and it went away. Or not iRacing, uh, Project Cars. So 
I'm kind of torn on whether or not I want to put two 970s in here again. I kind of just wanted to do one powerful 980 uh, or 980 Ti, but the problem is the three panels that this is hooked up to doesn't, don't have DVI uh, port outputs or inputs on them. They have DVI and VGA on the back of those monitors. 980 Ti's only have one uh, DVI port on there. So the problem is that I'm not going to be able to, because I don't have right now, at this very moment, I, I only have one DVI to HDMI cable. If I had more of those, I would do it. I would do a single 980 Ti. So, yeah, that kind of stinks. On the wall. See the, oh, you know what? I think the Gigabyte 980 Ti's have dual DVI's. I forgot. Gigabyte completely, like, dominates when it comes to input output. Um, here's this, the air cooler for it right here. But yeah, my 980, or my 970, it's water cooled right now still. So, can't use that guy. Um, total first world problems here, huh? Yeah. I'm not complaining. Well, you're totally gonna get complaints. <laughs> I get complaints no matter what I do. Yeah. I give something away, it's like, why didn't you give away this? And it's like, you are so banned from this giveaway. No, I think, I actually, I think that the 980 Ti's do have, I think they do have two, nine, uh, two DVI's. So let me check. Do, 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 this one. And then if they do, then I have the water cooled one right there. If I can't get it out of the box, I can't do it. Yes! Boom! This is why Gigabyte cards kind of rock because they don't just follow like the standard NVIDIA input or output or you know setup. They do it the way they want to do it. So this could work. This could work. We'll put this over here as a maybe. Because right um, we got the water cooled one right there. That might be kind of neat, huh? Mm hmm. But I don't think, I don't know if I have enough room here with this. I might barely have enough room. Front on it. Like an intercooler? Yeah. <gasps> Total car themed, huh? Vroom, vroom. We gotta go get the plastic dip. Vroom, vroom. It might fit right here. Actually. <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> you know, another card that would actually be a good contender. Let's see, that's the classified. But the classified, again, only has one DVI. Um, Titan X only has one DVI. I don't know if the MSI... Lightning has two of them. It's so big, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the Lightning only has one DVI output. That would match the whole color setup, though. It would. It would, yeah. That's one reason why I'm looking at this. You can't even really see it, though. You know? Cause, like, but we'll know. Oh, your window's tinted, too. Yeah. This is totally a race car it game has already. Lighting here, though. It has white LEDs up there. Oh. <laughs> only when you get pulled over, you'll be able to see it. Yeah. I'm fairly certain, though. That MSI Lightning only has one. Dang, we're in the box, okay? Let's see. Yeah, only one on it. And it totally would have gone with. It totally would have gone with the theme, right? Oh, yeah. But it only has one. Oh. Okay. Let's see, it totally would have gone. What's this blasphemous? Oh. Well, because I didn't have a box for the 380X they sent me, so I, I put it in a EVGA box, or a, yeah, an EVGA box. Sorry, guys. The double 390X, I believe, also does not. Oh, it does. But that's a name card. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to do two 970s again. Jay's two cents in his natural habitat. <laughs> Covered and surrounded by graphics cards. Not knowing what to use for his next build. No, I just, I would hate to tie up both of the nine, those 970s, but then I've got two others. Shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not funny. First real problem for real with you. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't really want to take this apart, but I really don't have a choice. Oh no. Well, remember, this wasn't ideal anyway. I had to take it apart because I used the wrong heat sink on it because I didn't have the proper one for the 4790K. Because whenever I buy a processor, quite honestly, I just I just ditch the stock heatsink. I literally just chuck that crap in the trash, and then I was like, "Oh man, the only one I have now is for an i3." So I stuck an i3 heatsink on a 4790K. Mistakes were made. Well, but it got it got the job done, and it didn't overheat. That's what I was most surprised about. So I kind of did a worst case scenario for cooling with this Node 202. See what you did there. 
The other thing was, uh, remember I had the wrong kind of graphics card in here too. So I guess I'm okay with pulling it back out of here because it really deserves a blower style card. Like I already said, it needs a proper, it needs a proper style card on here. This was uh, such a cool build though. But yeah, it, it does quite honestly need this style card with the blower. Um, not necessarily a Titan, but it needs a blower card. I could get another SFX power supply in here, like a 600 watt one from Silverstone. Problem is, I like this form factor, but I, I don't want to use this particular form factor. Um, I want to use this guy right here, as you can see, the Node 605 for my home theater PC, because it looks just like a receiver. Like it's brushed aluminum finish and stuff, so it's gonna look really nice. Believe it or not, of all the stuff you see here, I have no spare DDR3. Where did it go? I know I had some. But I, it would be a complete waste. It would be a complete waste to put an X99 for the simulator rig. As it is right now, it's kind of a waste to even use a 4770K, but that's the, with the exception of the i3, um, and, there, and I've got that all right here. This is my i3 ITX setup. I think I want to build some some small form factor like media PC with this, mm. um, or even play around with like Plex or something for that. So I don't want to utilize that. See, the question is, do I want to utilize two 970s in a single build like this? Remember, it's three way. It's a it's a um, Nvidia surround three panels, three 1080p panels. Two 970s. If you guys have looked at my my video I did where it was 980 Ti versus 970 versus Titan X, did you almost fall? Uh, the 970 kicks the single 980 Ti's butt in a lot of test cases, but not in all. And I didn't test that in Infinity or, or uh, in these round. So I kind of feel like the dual GPU would give me the best performance. However, I only have 3.5 gigs of usable VRAM on this where the 980 Ti would give me 6 gigs. This is such a hard decision. Am I missing a 980? Oh no, here it is. You know what would make like the ultimate giveaway? What? The grand prize is you get to pick one item from here. You know this is like the only place someone would pick from. Yeah. Right? Minus the tight nexus. You know, <laughs> quite honestly, they would only pick from like right here. Or maybe if you're a true diehard AMD fan, you might pick that guy, the Fury X. <laughs> but I don't know if anyone would pick like, say, DDR4 RAM or a power supply. You know, they're the, straight to Like you. a headset? <laughs> Yeah, these are, all, these are all the headsets. Someone might be like, I pick this rack. <laughs> and that's okay. a legal move. No, I'll just take everything off the rack and I'll send you all the metal. <laughs> if I could build every one of my subscribers a PC and just give it to them, I would. Guys. <laughs> that is not a lot. Come on. How much have I given you? You gave me a lot. Okay. You actually gave me a whole new computer, technically. Dude, you've totally just, oh. <laughs> mm, my eyes. You're fine. Just turn on the fan. No. Because <laughs> then it's going like, to mix it around more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying on the inside. The Ips power. I was having an issue where uh, one, of the, one of the panels, and I remember you dealt with this too, every time you would go into like, a game or something, one of the panels would turn off. Yeah. You'd have to like power it off and power it back on. Which was really freaking annoying. I would say quickest build ever, but it was like three quarters of the way I already put together. Don't you got a bridge it still? Haha, <laughs> good call. Yeah. Do we even have a bridge? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, wait, I got this. Remember, the bridges come with the motherboards, not the graphics cards. So, I'll pull out my C170 classified. I feel like this should be like an accounting spreadsheet, like you take. If there is a bridge in there, you have to make a note in the journal, you know, okay. remove the bridge from the Z170. Oh wow, it's brand new in box. <laughs> Look at that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. You want to know why you were hearing the burp, 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 farting. I was making sure nothing else was going to come out. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's cool that EVGA gives you posters with every graphics card. It just sucks that they're folded up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So this one's done? Pretty much. It's got the things in there. Memory. Graphics cards. Bridge. Thanks for pointing that out. Mm -hmm. um, I really wish 
NVIDIA would get on board like AMD does, where you don't need a bridge anymore. It bridges through the PCIe. Might not actually take that long to download Project Cars. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of us just quite honestly screwing around, putting this system together. I actually built this system a long time ago, um, over a year ago. That's why I had a 4770K CPU. But uh, yeah, once the rig is all together, we'll do the official review. We'll get Coconut Monkey to help out with that video as well. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. And no, you can't have a graphics card. Get out.